Hey everyone, Elias here. Today we're going to look at a couple different things. After we've perhaps finished the single leg takedowns that we've been working on, we have our opponent on their back. We're going to look at, in a cursory summary, some ways to pass the guard. But more, more crucially, at least for these couple months, the start of the winter, we're going to look at ways to enter into single leg X, leg entanglement, and work for leg locks. We're going to do this from when they're on their back. We're going to do this from opening their guard and the full guard on our knees, and then opening it from full guard when we're up, when we stand up. So here we look at staggering their guard or splitting their guard, staggering our stance and splitting their guard. We've got these types of passes available to us, right? We can also step to the like side, level change, hips forward, allows us to work our strikes in a fight situation, allows us to work our, 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 um, our hip switches and knee weaves into dope mounts and things of that nature. We can also split their guard in order to work into our single leg X leg entanglement and then lower our level in kind of like a piss and squat way. Isolate their one leg, shelving it between our thigh and our rib cage and work for our, our position where we can attack our Achilles locks, toe holds, outside heel hooks, as so. One foot on the hip, the other foot underneath the far side leg, pinching our knees, isolating their leg, sitting our butt behind our back with their ankle underneath our forearm. Now we're gonna work breaking their full guard. We can break it to look to pass. We can break it to look to isolate into single leg X. I get one knee inside the butt, the other knee goes to the outside as though my lower back is being pulled by a rope or a chain to the back wall and ceiling. It pulls up and away, opening the guard, and I sit up, bringing my outside foot to the hip, isolating their leg with my other knee pinching aspirationally to that knee, and working into single leg X. We'll look at it from another angle here. Hands in the armpits, hands to the hips, elbows and inside, go right into a combat base, meaning our inside knee pops up to prevent them from easily re-guarding. And then we work into a single leg X. We could turn inside for most competitions. We could only turn outside in IBJJF. You'll be disqualified in IBJJF rules if you go to the inside. Now we're gonna work the same type of concept, opening the full guard, but we're gonna do it from a standing. You can pop up two feet at once from our active toe position. You can go one at a time, but I'm pinning their armpits with my legs as I stand. Hands go to the hips, the outside, only after we've opened up their guard. Then, familiar position, we isolate the legs, have a controlled descent, pinch our knees, outside foot in the hips, inside foot underneath the far side leg, Achilles flared, both of them, making it taut, pinch the knees, tuck our elbow to our rib cage, and we've isolated their leg and are ready to attack leg locks.